The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and local health departments have new guidelines for trick-or-treating this year. Some parents are making changes to keep kids and parents from being at risk of spreading COVID-19. Fox 2's Jeff Bernthal is live in Spanish Lake with a look at how one Halloween tradition will continue with some added precautions. Jeff? And it is uh, quite the display here on Valencia near Laramore. We spoke with the woman behind this. Her entire front yard filled with a ghostly display. She says she loves kids. She also wants to stay safe. So she will continue this tradition with some few changes, a tradition that involves some big scares and some big treats. Her name is Carolyn Tolbert Fry, but that's not what the neighborhood kids call her. I'm called the Halloween lady. She lives for creating a display that will scare kids. <laughs> this year is no exception, but there are changes. She'll create a shoot to deliver her big bags of candy, will insist on social distancing and face coverings. There's going to be a sign out there that says, no face mask, no candy. And there is a difference between a, a Halloween mask and a face mask. Health experts agree. Some alternative suggestions include holding an outdoor parade for everyone to show off their costumes or hiding treats like an egg hunt. The eighth graders at St. Raphael Archangel in South St. Louis replaced their trunk or treat fundraising event with a Halloween hunt. Pay them $20, they'll hide treats in your yard. Trunk or treat was like our thing. You know, you had the, the coolest cars, you know, you had the contest. But this is a great alternative. It's, it's going to make up for the money that we're losing from the trunk or treat. Tolbert Fry takes COVID precautions to keep kids and her family safe. I want to stay healthy so that I can take care of my elderly senior citizens, parents whose uh, immune systems are compromised. County health officials warn Halloween is just the beginning of a season filled with gatherings. If your grandma and grandpa live with you and these kids are coming back, we're encouraging to get COVID tested, get your flu shots. Halloween is just the beginning of really a three month long stint past New Year's where friends and family are usually together. One other rule that will be taking place out here on Halloween, one way in, one way out for the trick or treaters in an effort for social distancing. We will have a link with more information about some of the guidelines from the CDC and local health departments you can access with the Fox 2 app. Reporting live from Spanish Lake, Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News.